you gain control of JK Rowling's Twitter account for a day. What unnecessary piece of information do you add to Harry Potter lore? Harry doesn't have a left pinky toe. It was the only part of him hurt by the killing curse when he was a baby. And then all of us fan theorists will wonder why Lily didn't love his left pinky toe. Hagrid shaves all his body hair from the neck down. E. Thanks for the gold slash you slash Darth Meal. That the Queen of England is a living horcrux and that's why she just won't die. Edit. Ooh. Shiny. Thanks. Voldemort was voluntarily circumcised at the age of 18. Snape was a stamp collector. This is the real reason James Potter bullied him. Ron likes to take all his clothes off when he poops. Voldemort doesn't have a big hole after resurrection. Fred and George realize switched places during the Battle of Hogwarts. When George died, Fred adopted George's life, complete with cutting off his ear, because he figured George wouldn't want him to spoil the joke. George Wheelie was adopted. Not Fred though. At the time of bringing his kids to platform 9 and 3 quarters at the end of the 7th book, Harry is out on bail for wizard tax evasion due to hiring Percy as his accountant. How Hermione really, really loved pegging Ron after they got married. The sock that freed Dobby was actually a Potter family heirloom having been worn by Bobby Charlton in the 1966 FIFA World Cup final. The Potters were very quiet about how they came to acquire it. Voldemort's parents were anti-vaxx. Harry pronounces it jif. Not jif. Snape was an ever nude. Edit. Holy ship. This blew up. Thank you for the gilding. Harry put his name in the goblet of fire. That most people don't play beyond their early 20s because they develop quidditch asshole. Harry frequently entered the girls dormitory. I'd clarify that Dumbledore wasn't really gay, just gay for pay. Figure that way. Nobody is happy. I would make it clear that the cursor child is not canon. Buckbeak was a metaphor. The forbidden forest is forbidden because Dumbledore and Hagrid have an illegal grow up hidden inside. The wizarding school is a front to launder money. Moaning Myrtle was masturbating in the bathroom when she dies hence the name Moaning Myrtle. She was reported as crying, based on what an ignorant first year claimed. I'm writing a new book. I'll make her add a lot more lore by bumping community expectations. Muggle orphanages know about magic, and when an orphan shows magical prowess they phone the Ministry of Magic for pickup and leave the baby outside. The Ministry hasn't figured out how voice or mail works, and never come to pick up the children. The protagonist was actually the flying car and everything, after is just epilogue. Witches and wizards have microscopic beings called magi chlorians that live within their bodies which grant them access to magic. I actually always envisioned Dumbledore aggressively asking Harry, maybe even yelling, if he put his name in the goblet of fire. After book 2 and the polyjuice experiments Ron and Hermione permanently switched places. I don't think I could top the post she made about wizards disappearing their poo with magic before muggles invented toilets. Ron is adopted and dyes his hair. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. The Loch Ness monster is someone who tried Polyjuice potion with basilisk DNA. There is a wizarding world version of magic, the gathering called muggles, the congregation. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. Hermione was actually a collective delusion shared by Harry and Ron. Voldemort's penises also have snake slit noses. There's a witch writer called KJ Loring famous for her muggle book series Harold Rogers, where the protagonist engages in wacky muggle adventures. Edit. 48 in Barks notices, and not one Hogwarts letter. Hagrid was a metaphor for the misunderstanding and mistreatment of furries. Hagrid tried foe and didn't really care for it. Professor Snape was a single mother. The My Immortal fanfic is now 100% canon. Thank you. JKR.